I would be remiss if I didn't start also by recognizing uh, the news coming out of India uh, about the protests by farmers. For more than a year, they fought long and hard, unwavering, unrelenting against laws they felt were unjust. Let me remind you, Canada will always be there to defend the right of peaceful protest. And we won't be allowing people to come down for the unlawful activity of engaging in demonstrations. We believe in the importance of dialogue. Is there a reason that you can give as for why you will not discuss or have any negotiations with this particular group? I have attended protests and rallies in the past uh, when I agreed with the goals, when I supported the people uh, expressing their concerns and their issues. Black Lives Matter is an excellent example of that. I have also chosen to not go anywhere near protests that have expressed hateful rhetoric, violence towards fellow citizens, uh, and there is always a right to protest peacefully, that I and others will defend fully as part of this democracy. There is not a right, not a right. to incite violence, to perform acts of violence, or to spew hate. We must ensure that everyone is safe and respected. That includes journalists who need to be able to do their work on the front lines to expose the truth and tell the stories we need to hear. The Ottawa police yesterday put out a tweet and an announcement to media saying, please media, stay away. Stay away from the protest, which, which tells you that they are afraid of being caught on camera. See you again? It'll be different. We have told you, get the camera and get out of here. It's independent press. Okay. So that doesn't thank, mean thank anything you, for you. Thank you for that feeling, but it's time to go, okay? We're sick of what's happening in our streets, so leave our area. And I'm sure Canadians are watching what all politicians are doing right now and remembering.